don't really see how that is very practical, but I kind of want to test it because it looks really cute. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh, ah. I'm just going to pack that. Oh, oh, okay. So I've gone for a different hairstyle today and I'm not really too sure what I'm thinking of it. Does it just look like I've forgotten to put these bits in my ponytail? Well, either way, I'm not going to change it now. <laughs> so in today's video, I am just going to be playing with makeup. Don't worry, I'm not doing any more modifications to myself. So before all of this lockdown isolation stuff happened, I did actually have a big box of stuff which was makeup that's like new in makeup that I was very kindly gifted by most of these brands. And speaking of makeup that's in boxes, I still have so many more giveaways that I am going to be doing but I kind of figured that now probably isn't the best time to do them just because I don't really want to be making unnecessary journeys out to the post office and stuff like if I don't need to. But once all of this is over I will definitely be giving away a lot more of my makeup because there's a lot to go around. So today we're just going to be playing with some makeup and hopefully it will be super chill, super relaxing. If you like the sound of that then just keep watching. Also while you're at it, give this a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, also a little trick that I, well, I mean, I, I know that loads of people do this, but I only recently discovered it. So if you watch my hair video, you probably uh, will have seen that I almost have like bald patches here and here. But what I've done today is I filled it in with a bit of eyebrow powder, actually. The reason my face looks so glowy is because I used... The Ren, the skincare brand Ren, have got this toner that is really, really popular. I used it for the first time today and I can see why it's popular. My skin looks so good. Right, for my primer, I have got the Laura Mercier primers. They basically launched a bunch of new ones the other day that all do different things. There's an illuminating one, hydrating one, a perfecting one, a protecting one with SPF in it, which I want to try that one, and a blurring one. And then this supercharged essence. That sounds nice. I'm gonna try the one with SPF in because I'm really curious to see if this is oily or not. That's actually a lot more lightweight than I was expecting. However, uh, I probably wouldn't leave it at that for my primer. Just because the way the SPFs are, they do tend to be a bit more on the oily side. And usually when I'm applying my SPF, I will then go in with a primer afterwards. It feels nice though. It does feel like a pretty like thin, lightweight SPF. Um, let's go with the perfecting one. Perfecting sounds like what I need. Ooh, it's a gel. I was kind of expecting it to be, I don't know, not a gel. <laughs> oh, that one feels really nice. That's got a slight bit of tackiness to it, but oh my gosh, that doesn't even feel like a primer. That feels so nice. It really feels like it's sunk into my skin. This is my kind of primer. Right, then for my foundation, I've got the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. I don't think I've tried this on my channel yet. I'm gonna mix the shade Ivory and Nude. Actually, Ivory might just be all right on its own. Actually, I am gonna mix in a little bit of Nude. Let's do like one pump of each. I have this brush from It Cosmetics that I kinda wanna try. It's the superstar brush and it's literally shaped like a star. I don't really see how that is very practical, but I kind of want to test it because it looks really cute. <laughs> um, okay, well, immediately, it feels nice, but it being a star shape is not the most practical. For some reason, I've really been liking using a brush for my foundation recently. That foundation is really glowy. I think that looks really nice, actually. It's made my skin look really healthy. I like that. It's not full coverage, because, like, you can still see the blemishes on my chin and stuff. Um, but I've got concealer for that, so it's all good. Yeah, my skin looks really nice. Not the biggest fan of this brush, though. Cute, cute idea, but the whole star thing is not the most practical. Concealer is actually the only thing in this video that I don't have a new concealer for so i'm using my revolution conceal and define infinite concealer in 5.5 oh god i forgot how quickly this concealer dries then for my powder i've got the ciate extraordinary extraordinary translucent powder i actually got this in a box which is in collaboration with raddy whose instagram is get ready with raddy as in like g R W Raddy. She has a little collaboration box with Ciate where she picked out some of her favorite products. And this powder was in there and I've never tried it before so I thought I would give it a go. Wow, okay, it's very like thin. It definitely seems like one of those translucent powders that kind of goes everywhere. Yeah, whoa, that's so like lightweight. 
it has definitely mattified my face. My skin looks really smooth. However, I do tend to prefer loose powders that have got a tiny bit of color in them. For my bronzer, I've got the Ofra by Samantha March. Um, there's a influencer called Samantha March, I think and she's done a collaboration with them. There's this bronzer duo which looks so nice. There's like a shimmery side and a more matte side. So I guess I will dip into, wait actually let me just take the plastic off. I'm gonna dip into the matte side first. Okay, phew, I thought it was gonna be really pigmented like the highlighters are. I think I'm gonna actually just go in and mix the two like the shimmer and the matte one. Ooh, just gonna bring it over the rest of my face because there we go, that's a bit better. Just trying to get my foundation to match my neck. That's nice, I like that. It's really lightweight as in, I thought it was gonna be ridiculously pigmented but it's actually not overly pigmented. You can build it nicely and I think mixing the two of them just gives a really nice sort of healthy glow. I like that. I do actually have a discount code with Ofra. I'll put it on the screen. I think it's just Soph and it gets you 20% off their website. It is an affiliate code so if you guys aren't cool with using that that's totally fine but just in case you are going to be shopping on Ofra I do have my discount code with them still I think. I think it's still active. Then I do also have the blush as well which is in Chiclet which is also from the Samantha March collection. Again it looks like a bit of me especially this peachier one here but I've also got this from Ciate which is the Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint. So I'm gonna try this first and see how we go. This is the shade papaya and it does smell like, to me it smells more like watermelon. What even is papaya? It kind of just looks like a tinted lip balm. Um, so I'm gonna take a tiny bit. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first. Oh my God, it's so like, it just feels like lip gloss. Okay, I think that just removed all my foundation. Let me try it with a brush. Wow, okay, that's very pigmented. Well, to be honest, the fact it's called a glossy cheek tint, I would imagine it's for people that don't set their face with powder or for those kind of no makeup makeup days. It's a really nice color though. It does have a nice glow to it, but it just isn't the best over the top of foundation that's been set. I forgot to contour my nose. Also, I washed all my brushes. I hope you guys are proud of me. <laughs> that is definitely not an achievement because it's something that I should probably be doing on a weekly basis, but. Let's be real. Oh no, I just look like a clown. I'm just gonna set that blush. I've probably got enough, but I do just wanna test this Ofra like peachy shade because it looks really nice. Okay, that is gorgeous, Um, but I've now got way <laughs> too much blush on my face. Oh my God, oh dear, oh, ah. I shouldn't have done that. I knew it was a pretty color just by looking at it. Um. Okay, right, well. I kind of look like one of those cute little characters on Animal Crossing. I don't actually have Animal Crossing and I've never actually played it, but I've seen so much about it on social media that I kind of am tempted to get it. I have this palette from Milani, which is in collaboration with Salt and Pepper, who are a like duo singer, not singers. Well, they kind of do sing, like singers, rappers. They did this song. But they came out with a collaboration with Milani, which is kind of random, but uh, it looks amazing. This is one of the palettes. The other palette I actually put in my giveaway box because I thought I wouldn't use it as much, but this one looks stunning. It's got eyeshadows and then in the middle, it's got a highlighter. You know what? Milani have recently really upped their game with eyeshadows and highlighters. Oh my God, that's so nice. Oh. That color is stunning. It's gold, but it's got a slight peachy reflect to it. It has a little bit of a cast from the front, but that is beautiful. I just, I threw my brush. I was that excited, I threw my brush. Oh my God. Well, that is stunning. We might come back to this, but I did also want to use my Fenty Beauty ones. For my eyebrows, I'm testing the Benefit Browsings Pro Palette. I was actually lucky enough to go to the launch event for this a couple of months ago, which was really fun. They had like a trampoline, Ooh, which is so random, um, but I haven't actually got around to trying it until now. So it's a little set where you you get a mirror and then there's this little bit of plastic that tells you what each thing is. So there's a clear brow wax, there's a warm brown brow wax, a cool blonde brow wax that was a mouthful and then there's powders so we've got cool light blonde cool light brown warm light brown and warm medium brown and then you also get mini brushes in here so you get a double-ended brow brush and then also a miniature little spoolie and a like 
I don't know, I guess like cleaning up concealer brush. I haven't used brow powder in ages, but I'm gonna give it a go. I think I'm gonna do the wax first and then go in with the powder in like sparse areas. So I'm gonna use the cool one. Wait, why did I just, I just used the wrong brush? Oh well. I'm gonna use one of the angled brushes instead. One of them is a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna use a slightly thicker angled brush. Oh, actually that does have some tint to it. So I think the idea is the wax like holds your eyebrows in place and then obviously the powder does the filling in. But if you did just want some tinted wax, I think that's giving me a bit of color. Um, so I'm taking the cool brown one, I guess. Oh yeah, I like that color. I kind of like doing the wax first as well because it gives the powder something to stick to. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but it's working for my eyebrows, so. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna use the little spoolie to like fluff them up a bit. Well, oh, those are definitely some bold eyebrows. <laughs> I think I quite like it. I think I've accidentally filled them in a bit thicker than normal, but I actually think they look pretty nice. Uh, I think they do do this in a couple of different shades. So for my eyeshadow, I've obviously got the Milani palette. I've also got these mini little Fenty palettes, which are so freaking cute. Where's the other one gone? These are the snap shadows and I have sat here for like 10 minutes trying to figure out how these snap together. Am I doing something wrong? Because I think I might just be stupid. I have got the Peach palette and the Cadet palette. These are small, travel friendly, have a nice big mirror. I approve. Although I did mess this one up by accidentally stabbing in the plastic overlay into the eyeshadow. And I'm, I don't want to talk about it. This little peach one is a bit of me and this cadet one is also a bit of me. I don't know which one to use because I also want to use the Milani one. I can just tell already that, oh my God, these Milani eyeshadows, they're just so good. Like, look at that. The texture of them is so nice. Let me just swatch a couple of the Milani ones. Oh my God. Let me do the black as well. They are so pigmented. What? That Milani palette gets approval without even me putting it on my eyes. I'm gonna use this Fenty one in Cadet. I might dip into a bit of the Milani one, we'll see. Oh, I forgot to wash my eyeshadow brushes. Uh, never mind. So I'm gonna start out with this shade here. And I'm just using that as my transition shade. Excuse the bit of dry skin on my eyelid. To be honest with you, this shade is not super pigmented. I'm having to dip in quite a few times to get the payoff that I want. That is a really nice colour though. I'm then going to take the khaki green colour and I'm going to use this on the outer and inner portions. Portions? I don't know, of my eyelid. Ooh, that one's nice. This shade is definitely more pigmented than the other shade. And I am also just going to run that through my crease, actually. I'm just going to use a bit more of that transition to just blend out the edges. So far, I don't have any fallout on my face, which is good. This colour is, I mean, it's blending pretty nicely, I think. It's not completely blowing me away, but it definitely does look nice. I'm kind of curious about that yellow, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that and use a bit of that on the edges as well. If I wanted to try and see how that works, I probably should have used it before all the dark colors. Oh, I can definitely see that though. It's a really interesting color. It's like a mustard yellow. I haven't really seen that in an eyeshadow before. I'm taking the one shimmer shade in this. Actually, there's two shimmer shades. There's a brown and there's this one. I'm gonna take this like goldy green sort of color on a brush first to see how it works. I'm just gonna pack that. Oh, oh, okay. Well, it works on a brush. That's actually stunning. I'm just putting that on the center of my eyelid. I am just gonna go in with my finger as well. Okay, wow. That's really nice. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. It is a gold with little hints of green in it. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm just gonna take the same brown shade and the green as well onto my lower lash line. I'm going to take this dark grey shade. Oh, I've just noticed there's names on the back. This one is called Glamo Camo. And, whoa, okay, that looks quite pigmented. And I'm gonna use that as my liner. I'm just gonna do a smoky sort of wing. Wow, that one's really pigmented, actually. How do people do smoky winged liner and make it look normal? Whenever I do a smoky wing, it just looks like I've done my eyeliner, but really badly. 
that looks okay. Maybe I won't smoke it. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to ruin it. I've got a tiny bit of fallout, but I've just brushed it away. Before I do my mascara, I just quickly want to do my setting spray because I know that I will forget. And also as well, I don't want it to smudge my mascara. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty What It Do. What It Do. I think in America they say do, but in England we say do or do we it says it is a makeup refreshing spray and i have to say i love the packaging of this it's matte and it just looks so nice oh oh okay that is a super fine mist okay it's so fine to the point where it kind of feels like nothing is coming onto your face oh it just feels so nice that is the finest setting spray mist I've ever seen. Yeah, it's definitely given a glow to my skin. For my mascara, I have this. It's not what you think it is, but it is called My Toy Boy by Diego, Diego Della Palma. This is the most ridiculously big mascara packaging I've ever seen, and we all know what it is trying to resemble, but uh, I think it's a bit excessive. Considering it's just a mascara. Oh my god, this is the first time putting mascara on my lashes since I lifted them. Ooh. Oh my god, this mascara is so clumpy, but in a good way. Oh my gosh. My lashes are so curly, it's kind of hard to get them to not touch my eyelid. But oh my goodness, I love how this is making my lashes look. Because I love a thick, clumpy mascara. It's not giving me much length. I swear my lashes look shorter than normal. Please tell me the lash lift didn't like burn my eyelashes off. Okay, I've probably put a bit too much onto the point where my lashes look too clumpy, but I really like that mascara. It's super like thickening and I think it's made my lashes look really nice. Then finally for my lips, I've got the Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in Babe. And I've also got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. I've got Sweet Mouth and Glass Slipper. I think I'm gonna go for Sweet Mouth, which is the slightly tinted one. Looks like this. Oh, but this one is kind of glossy. Okay, this is already super glossy and balmy. It's almost like a tinted lip balm, but I still want to try the Fenty gloss, so I'm gonna do both. Oh my god, oh, it smells like strawberry sweets. That feels so nice, and it tastes really nice, it smells really nice. I like that. I have never tried a Fenty lip gloss before, but I can see why they're popular. Look at the shine on my lips. I think that is me done. I... I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I did actually really like the eyeshadow palette. I think it did a really good job at creating this greeny, smoky sort of look. And I really like how you just get the eyeshadows that you need to do one or two or three complete looks. This is a little bit more of a close up. So I'm really quickly just gonna answer a question of the day before my camera runs out of battery, please don't die on me. If you guys have got any questions for me, please leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day. Today's question comes from Alice Lee and she said, is the coronavirus affecting the process of moving into your house? I love your videos so much and they're my go-to thing right now. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I have had official confirmation that everything is obviously on hold with the house move at the moment, which is such a shame because we were literally down to the final few weeks. If it wasn't for the coronavirus, I would probably be moving in like now but because we went into lockdown the week that i was supposed to be exchanging contracts i was advised by the solicitors to not exchange contracts just because obviously nobody really knows what's going on at the moment so i guess i've just got to wait until all of this is over which is so disappointing um but i can't do anything about it so yes for now and for the foreseeable future i will still be here in my room. Right, so I hope you guys are all good. If you enjoyed me playing with makeup, uh, I would love it if you gave this a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then you can press the subscribe button, turn on, my no turn on my notifications. I always struggle to say that. And yeah, that is it. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you're all good. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all well. And I will see you next time. Bye.